Well, good evening. It is Friday. Happy Friday. May um, 29th. Yeah, we're almost through the fifth month. What a crazy um, whirlwind of a year already. A yeah, crazy year, right? So, uh, my daily Have You Taken Control of Your Day um, broadcast. And I'm having a little bit of internet trouble. There it is. We, uh, it seems like there's some weird weather fronts. I know I've heard different people across the country, but I'm um, broadcasting to my own personal Facebook as well as the Mel Robbins Five Second Rule group. And I do this every day because um, I like to encourage other people, um, as I am inspired by this, to utilize um, the best tools, the most successful ways of uh, maintaining control of your mind and your mindset and your attitude and your positivity because um, a lot of us want to grow and if you're fine with the way things are and you don't think that you need any sort of um, encouragement or influence um, I get it I it's great I like to provide it while I'm receiving it myself so I come on here to encourage that because it helps me it helps me to hear it out loud and that uh, same strategies as the Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod on the five second rule by um, Mel Robbins, Tony Robbins, Brendan Burchard, they all say the same thing. <laughs> Your mindset starts right here and it's up to you. So you wanna control that, it starts with uh, uh, waking up intentionally and uh, acknowledging what you're grateful for, writing it down or whatever you need to do to uh, get it into your head. And uh, that's how you start your day. It also should be the way you end your day. It helps you to sleep better, right? Um, you know, it sounds really simple, and it's not, but daily habits and rituals and routines really do work if you do them consistently and persistently. Uh, and no matter what happens, because all of us are human, it's still a good practice. It's not always going to work, and I'm certainly, yeah, uh, no perfect example for sure. <laughs> but I, I like to encourage other people to do that, so that's my spiel at first. And then um, I try to talk about something else, like what I put in. I didn't put a Wayne Dyer quote on there today. I put one from um, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, I believe. I think, no, Hay, yeah, Louise Hay, sorry. <laughs> uh, and that is about forgiveness. You know, we took a, we took a trip to the ocean um, to get out of the heat and it was wonderful, but there was just some miscommunications. Yeah, we got into a little spat, I suppose, but I, um, I would like to say, you know, out loud to the world in a, in a vulnerable moment that I apologize sincerely to my spouse and to my friend Kim for, you know, just kind of losing control uh, for a minute. I didn't, um, you don't even know sometimes when you're under a lot of pressure, I suppose. There's no real excuse, but when you misunderstand somebody and sometimes it's okay um, just to uh, admit that, well, you, even if you don't know it, after time and you look back and um, it's best to apologize mostly to yourself, and that's what my message is saying, because I do a good um, amount of beating up on, on me, because uh, those are the patterns that I have sort of tend to fall back on, I suppose, when there's a lot of pressure. I don't know what the real answer is, but um, I have a lot of relief, I suppose, from, I will eventually, because we lost some really beautiful, perfect time in just uh, ending it and coming home and being mad and uh, that's on me so I apologize I apologize I'm sorry <laughs> and um, I the only reason you know I'm coming on here to do that I don't think that I think it, it takes a lot and I think that I would like to inspire other people to just with all of the BS that's happening in the world and all the negativity and all of the uh, you know like I say, like I always say, don't look at the news, don't look at your phone. We all know what happened in the news. We all know the COVID. We all know about the, you know, the murder that happened with our own law enforcement. We all know that stuff. We all know that's happening. It's horrible. Um, but so isn't it funny how it, not even funny, it's funny how we, well, it's interesting how we tend to gravitate toward that. You know why? Because it helps us not to focus on ourselves. Because really, you still have a choice. Acknowledge it and go, whoa, what a drag, that's horrible. And find something positive and productive and find somebody in real life right now in front of you that might need a hug or might need 
a hello or a shoulder to cry on or maybe just some jokes or some TikToks, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so there you have it. And, um, and that's about it. I'm not making him come on here. I'm putting him, not putting him on the spot. He's looking at me though, but he's cool. We're cool. And, uh, you know, just you, you learn from your experiences and you move, you know, which kinds of things to make sure that you've got, um, that you're in alignment with whenever you're doing something out of the norm, like we've all been cooped up, right? But just be careful if you're one of those that has been cooped up when, when you go out and you plan a major trip, you, f you forget about certain um, interactions and everything's changed. You can't even stop at a rest stop anymore without having a mask, making a purchase instead of, you know, it, it's just bizarre. You know, you would, you would think, you know, tr it wouldn't be that um, difficult, but it is. It's not that it's difficult. It's just that do your homework and know what you're going to be facing. You know, I've heard that, um, you know, well, anyway, I don't know, that's, that's negative too. <laughs> there's a lot of restrictions and there's still a lot out there that's not um, okay. And so it's even more important that you take control when you first wake up and uh, live your day with intention. I listen to a lot of, I'm listening to Real Magic by Wayne Dyer again, and he's talking about that. Um, visualize, visualize what you want and really, really let it sink in. And uh, it's effective, it's magical kind of crazy because we automatically, if you want to think of it from a scientific point of view, we program our subconscious mind to actually put the steps in order to complete the things we wanted to get the vision that we thought about and it's actually proven so it works. So uh, take control of your day. Um, be as positive as you can. Um, live your day within, I don't mean to be so, you know, <laughs> intense but you know, it's life. I'm human. You're human. We have moments where we're funny as hell, and um, we have other moments where it's sad. We're just regular people, just like yeah, y'all. <laughs> so, um, if this has um, hit a chord or sounds familiar to you, um, I hope it helps. So, uh, with that, have an awesome Friday or it's Saturday if you're in Australia or across the world, and um, do something really kind for somebody else, but especially for yourself. And that goes for the forgiveness part too. You know, you've gotten in trouble over something. <laughs> All right, have a great evening and weekend.